Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. We start on the daily chart. We typically do that once a day. And um, here you can see that really over the last few months, Bitcoin hasn't done much in the grand scheme of things. Zoomed out, Bitcoin has really only been moving sideways. We're now pretty much at the same price that we've already seen back in March. And it is and has been a big, big sideways correction which is also what I highlighted many times before. Wave fours can be considered sideways corrections. Now you might say, okay, but it did go up, it did go down. Yeah, of course, but it's overall a sideways correction, at least classed in the Elliott wave pattern um, <laughs> collection. And it's a flat correction, at least based on what we can see right now. What does that mean? Well, it means, you know, we had a three wave move down in wave A. We had a three wave move down in wave B, which was a flat correction itself. And then a C wave down in five waves. As mentioned in previous updates, the move down could be considered complete. We just need, needed and need confirmation that the low is in. Now you might say, but we broke out. Isn't that confirmation enough? Well, we broke out above our trend line. Well, while this might have been a setup, a tradable setup, the same way that the orange support zone was great for finding entries. It is not confirmation that we've bottomed. I mean, what is stopping the price to just do this? You know, there is no confirmation yet, okay? There's no confirmation. Nothing stopping the price to just um, change its course and break down and, and try another low at around 50.6K. So from a structural point of view, the market to me hasn't proven enough yet. However, that doesn't mean it's not short-term bullish, the short-term trend is up. And we also have seen various bullish signals here on the daily chart. And let's take a look at how the RSI is doing. Um, we have here the MACD, which gave us a bullish cross and is now attempting to cross above the zero line. That is quite bullish. In the videos and also previous member live streams, we took a look at the RSI, bullish divergence. We also saw the um, breakout above the trend line and the breakout above this trend line. And both of these signals that we've been watching for, they actually happened. And yeah, these are bullish indicators. Okay. And there were more, you know, fear and greed index and the Bollinger bands on the weekly. And I don't want to show them all again. We did that before, but this is still in play. Yeah. And, and based on all the momentum that was based on these indicators is still unfolding to the upside. So there's no exhaustion yet. Um, ideally, we get a bit of a pullback from here, but that's visible on the one hour chart. Here on the daily, everything's okay. Um, but also the daily chart reveals that we could see another low. And there is still space in this support region all the way down to 50.6, 50.7K. So anybody who hasn't got a position, who didn't act on the signals or the pullback setup, um, well, we might get another pull. I mean, there will be pullbacks, right? There will be pullbacks. But the only thing is, I can't tell you when exactly. We can only watch price action. And at the moment, there is no sign for a pullback. So we're just tracking the trend higher. And only when the first sign of a pullback occurs, then we can watch a support area. And then we can see if this support area is holding. And this support area might be the next pullback opportunity, okay, and, and set up. But for now, the trend is up quite direct directly and um, yeah, so what else can I say? I mean, next, if on this chart here, next structural resistances are in the region up there around 72, 73K. So this here could be a resistance level. Okay, breakout point. Let me just tidy that up a bit, but I would definitely want to pay attention to this one the yellow line at around 72, maybe 73K, more around the 72K area. Maybe the market will stretch there. I, I mean, if we get there, um, then this is obviously the next breakout opportunity. The market will be very exhausted when we get there already, probably. So I would always prefer another pullback forming a higher low from there at the latest. Talking about a pullback that's visible on the daily, something like this, maybe you know, significant pullback back into the low 60K area, which people can use to, to add positions again. We'll see where it takes us. I mean, essentially what we still need to see is a five wave move up, right? So one, two, three, 
four, five. Let's imagine we get that. Then a three wave pullback would be ideal and then really go. But we'll take it step by step. Let's take a look at the smaller time frame. Here, this is the price action from the June high. We had our five waves down. As mentioned before, the low could be in. Um, the wave count to the downside was technically complete. At the same time, one more low is possible and not unlikely. And, you know, as long as we only have three waves up from the 5th of July low. But as I already highlighted, the break above, I think it was 61.5k, made the yellow scenario with one more low less likely, but certainly not impossible. And it's still a likely option. So we still have to consider the possibility for another low. However, in the short term, the trend is up and it takes a break below the micro support area, which is highlighted here in orange, the upper one. Um, so that means a break below 58,620. It takes that to basically suggest and confirm that we're heading down um, for one more low. Okay. But at the moment, the short term trend is up. We had some short term signals as well, like, for example, the break above that red trend line. And I'm observing these green trend lines. They keep the trend up. And yes, I mean, let's take a look at the white count because the yellow one, there's no evidence for it. Okay. There's no evidence for a substantial top. There's not even evidence that the fourth wave pullback has started. So what we're looking at today is here wave one to the upside, wave two, and then the wave three could be an A, B, C structure. And the C wave one, two, three, four, maybe this is a fifth wave extension. <clears throat> we talked about that in yesterday's update already. So it's just sort of giving us that additional upside extension. Posted that yesterday also on X on Twitter. Feel free to follow us here as well for additional mindset stuff and um, additional updates. So yesterday we talked about um, that there was a possibility for another upside extension, which was already labeled like that with this fifth wave to the upside possibly. And this seems to be unfolding right now. However, briefly after that update was sent on X, the market started to pull back a little bit, but this is all small, okay, smallest movements. So basically still watching this as wave five of C of three. Let's go back. Um, that hasn't changed from yesterday. And the pullback that we've seen is just too small to say that this third wave has topped. Yesterday morning, um, around the same time, a bit later than morning, <laughs> um, I was already watching possibly for that wave four, okay? Because the move down was the first decent pullback after the rally started but it did not break below that low again here, not below that intraday low, and instead broke above the recent high. So it's clearly an extension in wave three. And please be aware that further upside extensions are possible. All we can do really is to adjust the support region. It's best not to guess when such a rally ends, just go with the data. But for me, yesterday was the first time that really that fourth wave could have started, but it, um, it decided to give us one more upside extension. Now the next upside targets are in the 67K region. And I would use a break of the green trend line as early evidence that a top is in place, but it really takes a break below yesterday's low to confirm that we have started wave four. And then we need to see if the micro support area is holding between 58,620 and 63,140. And then the fifth wave to the upside could start from there, but only if support holds. That's the update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.